He is Fletcher Cox here on The Rich Eisen Show. How are you, Fletcher? I'm good. How are you doing? I am doing just fine. So uh, what is this scheme looking like in Philadelphia compared to what Eagles fans are used to seeing with Jim Schwartz there now, <laughs> Fletcher? I mean, yeah, I mean, they, they've seen, the, you know, the 4-3 the defense um, before, you know, a couple years ago. Um, and that's what they're, I mean, that's what it's been all the time until, um, you know, like I like said, the last three years. Um, so, I mean, they're used to seeing it, and uh, I know they're excited. You know, the whole um, fan base and the Eagles and everybody, you know, teammates and everybody, is, they're ready to see, you know, how, how it all going to pan out, which I know it'll be good. And how how does this suit you, do you believe, in particular? Uh, I mean, um I think it suit it suit me real good because I mean that's why they drafted me back in 2012 um, to you know play in the four three. That's what I played in college. So so now I get to go back to what I was doing in college and you know, my first year in the NFL and you know get to go have you know a whole lot of fun. You know turn me loose and um, go get the quarterback. So have you looked at your bank account yet? Because if I got paid what you got paid, I'd be staring looking at the zeros waiting for them to come in. Fletcher, have you received that yet? <laughs> I would just be sitting there. I'd log in. I'd stare at the screen. And just watch. No, I, haven't, I haven't seen it. I haven't looked at it yet. No, but have you? Did you? Did you get some yet? Because I know the way these things work. You sign. No, it's like 15 days or something. So no. So you haven't yet. No, not yet. Man, I would be staring at the screen. I really, really would. <laughs> <laughs> just waiting. Yep. Just waiting for the commas and the zeros. Congratulations right. on that, by the way, Fletcher. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. You bet. And I know, I know, um, you know, that this means a lot to you in particular with your family situation, with your mom being a single mother, raising four people, and we know about your brother who's recently passed away. What does this moment mean for you to get uh, paid like this? We understand what you've done on the field, but what does it mean for you to get paid like this, Fletcher? I mean, it means, I mean, it means a lot, but uh, it means a lot, you know, especially, uh, you know, um, especially from, from um, the people that um, my, 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 my family, you know, it means a lot because, you know, like I say, um, man, I don't want to, not using it as you know, and somebody feeling sorry for me and that, but you know, um, just last year was you know was a rough year for for everybody, you know, just for the family. How so? Um, so because um, of your with, brother, with the passing of my brother, and it, like I said, it, I don't think it, it, you know, I don't think it ever get better. So uh, I mean, with that being said, I think uh, just you know, basically for me, I think that that, that this contract kind of set me for for the rest of my life, and uh, and I think that um, you know, I have a real good life after football, you know, um, with, with that contract, you know, with the current contract that I have now. So, uh, I mean, man, everybody's excited. Yeah, and your, your, I guess, your nephew or somebody you are now going to essentially take in as your own, your your brother Trell's son and other children, right? As, yeah, is that yeah how, my, how? my nephew TJ uh -huh. um, and uh, my niece Ashlyn and just all of my, you know, just the, just the rest of my nieces and nephews. Um, and, uh, you know, I love them, you know, um, they, you know, I'm always with them. They always happy to see me. I'm always happy to see them. So I'm more of a you know big family guy. Yeah. For for those who may not know, what did your brother Trell do for you, Fletcher? Um, he actually, man, he was like a father figure for me. Um, growing up, um, he was always there. Um, and he he was you know always supportive. You know, with me making decision making and you know good or bad, he supported this, that. He he supported whatever decision I wanted to, whatever I wanted to do, he supported it. Fletcher Cox. He's always sure. Sorry, go ahead. I thought you were. No, nah, no, nah, you go ahead. I mean, he was just, you know, he was just showed me, just showed me, you know, just growing up and maturing, and you know, um, his, his most important thing was being a man. Fletcher Cox joining me here uh, on the Rich Eisen show. For players like, I guess, Muhammad Wilkerson and others who play similar positions to you, waiting to get paid, what advice would you give them? Um, <laughs> um, uh. I mean, my, I mean, I went on for my negotiations went on for 14 to 15 months, man, to be honest. And, you know, I, I just, I mean, I, I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't involved in a whole lot of it because of, you know, I didn't want to be stretched out and, you know, not sleeping at night. So I just, I, I trusted Todd and trusted Rich and, you know, everybody else that was, that was involved. I knew the organiz them, you know, between those two, um, but Todd and Rich and the organization, the Eagles organization, they would get it done at, at one point and it happened. So now let's talk about the here and now um, with your teammates. Sam Bradford, was, is there anything going on in the locker room based on how Sam handled his business with the acquisition of the second overall pick, Fletcher? Any lingering no, I don't think, talk? No, about? I don't think so, no. I mean, just the, the workouts were voluntary. So, I mean, you, you can't, I don't think you can be mad if somebody don't show up to a voluntary workout. Well, what about asking to be traded, though? 
wanting to be somewhere else based on well, I mean, Sam, Sam's in Philly right now, and, uh, and, and you know, that's where he at. So uh, we're looking forward to winning a lot of games with him. And how is Carson Wentz in practice? How is he acclimating himself to the NFL? I mean, I think he's doing a great job. You know, he, he's uh, he. I, 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 can't, I think he's still learning. Um, I think he's watching everybody, and um, he's a great guy. I talk to him a lot. He's he's more of a you know um, a laid back, quiet guy, and uh, so I mean everybody everybody's different. And uh, is it true Sam was the one who locked him in the bathroom in New Jersey nah. in a gas station, Fletcher? No, nah. no, that is not true. I'm because if I stirred something up on that front, there's no there there that Sam was the one who locked him in the bathroom. Nah, Sam didn't definitely didn't like him in the bathroom. So what happened? Do we know what happened with Carson in the bathroom? No, nah, I don't know. I mean, I, I honestly don't know what happened in the bathroom. Maybe the maybe the doorknob or something was messed up. Yeah, I don't know I, I don't what's know. that all about. Okay. <laughs> so there's no there there with that whole front. Fletcher Cox joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show. You're part of this um, uh, New Era All-Star Camp to talk to campers about hydration and heat and safety that's going on in the football field. Why are you getting involved in something like this, Fletcher? Well, just to, you know, to let um, to let everybody know dehydration is important. Um, I actually here with, like I said, with Gatorade, with the Beat the Heat program, um, just to um, just, um, just let all the kids know that the importance of hydration and everything, just, you know, with it being so hot outside during the summer months, and I just let them know that um, the Gatorade that they're drinking, you know, um, <clears throat> have, you know, a bunch of, you know, different fluids. And they had a carbohydrate that you need, the electrolytes, you know, everything that you need, you know, when you're training. So, uh, you know, just I was just talking to the kids about how important it is. You know, I guess because I, I was a kid once. I was a kid. I was their age before. And when I was their age, if you got water, it, I mean, if you just drank Gatorade, it made you weak. You know, all you weak, you soft. But, you know, growing up now being a professional athlete, you know, that's really important to to us is hydration because, it, it, you know, it, it takes care of your body. Okay. Do you have any thoughts on what the Sixers should do atop the draft there in Philadelphia, Fletcher? <laughs> no, I don't know. I guess, I don't know. I guess that draft Ben Simmons. <laughs> Just because he's an SEC guy? Yeah, SEC okay. is the best in the country, of course. Okay, very good. And have you seen what uh, your long snapper, uh, Darren Bose, has been doing on uh, on uh, what, what's been going on with, with that with America's Got Talent? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I saw that. We see it all the time in the locker room. How so? It always amazes everybody the stuff, the talent that he, that he, the stuff that he does with those cars. Yeah. But uh, it was a great thing for him, a great exposure for him last night. So, so he does this in the locker room with just does yeah. magic tricks every now and yeah. then. Yeah, every now and again he get the boys up. Mostly doing training camp though. Not during the regular season, right? But I mean, no, nah, mostly doing training camp. Sometimes during the regular season he'll do a few tricks for us, but that's about it. So, so I, it looks like he's got some serious talent, and he's he's advancing in this tournament right here, Fletcher. Seems like oh, he's well, moving on. Well, good. There. Congrats, John. I, I mean, I I, um, I watched it a little bit, but okay. you know, I, I didn't didn't know if he um, you know advanced or or not. So. Uh, you know, congrats, John, and, you know, looking forward to seeing him doing training camp. All right, Fletcher, you take care of yourself, okay? Thank you for calling. I appreciate it. Good luck to you this season if we don't speak yes, before then, okay? All right, thanks, Rich. You got it. That's Fletcher Cox, Eagles defensive lineman here on the show. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.